I am on YouTube promoting my theory on the physics of time as a physical process. This theory explains a universal process of continuous energy exchange, a continuum of change that we see and feel as the flow of time itself. In this theory, the outward momentum of light forms the arrow of time for each individual reference frame, for each individual person or object. This is possible because the wave-particle duality of light forms an interactive process forming a blank canvas that the individual can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing new light photons coming into existence relative to the actions of the artist. We are seeing the future unfolding light photon by light photon within that reference frame forming the uncertainty of everyday life. Mathematically this uncertainty is represented by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. When I create a work of art it takes energy and is a process over a period of time Every movement I make will have to start at the quantum level of the atoms and will have an uncertainty of momentum and position. This is why there is always uncertainty of how the art will turn out with the position of the lines and curves on the canvas. This is a totally universal process because we cannot achieve absolute zero. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. Consciousness as the continuous flow of ideas formed by electrical activity in the brain is the most advanced part of this universal process. Therefore we can understand this process of continuous energy exchange, continuous creation as the flow of time itself with electrical potential linked to our own future potential possibilities and opportunities within our own reference frame. Even the hand and eye of an artist is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. In this theory creation is truly in the eye of the beholder. Time seems to flow like a river because in this theory we interact with light waves and water waves in a very similar way. In this drawing of an otter the ripples in the water are relative to the position and momentum of the otter. When the otter moves new ripples and waves will be created relative to the otter's momentum and position. This is very simple to understand. The reason why water waves are so easy to understand and light waves so difficult to understand is because light is not relative. Light is a universal constant independent of the motion of the source and the observer. In this theory, light is a universal constant because each new photon of light is a new moment of time, a new moment of creation. Because conscious thought is formed by electrical activity, it is always in the moment of now, within the center of its own reference frame. It makes no difference if it is the consciousness of an artist or an otter. Just like any other creature, an otter will create its own future forming its own evolutionary path, even increasing the electrical potential of the water it comes in contact with, relative to its own activity. This universal process forms an infinity of possibilities for the evolution of life. Please subscribe and rate. It will help in the promotion of this revolutionary theory.